job, Artyom. You are like a real ninja. I just kiss you right now. Though I've got to take Katya and Nastya to the Aurora, so see you there. Check the map. Looks like you can roll straight there from your position. huge the old man sent me out as a forward sentry told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action so I just had a front row seat watching you there and so you subdue the occupation forces peacefully with a holy cross and a prayer <laughs> Anna has already reported on the cult how about we trade places? I'd hate to come back to Moscow without even firing once. I was trying to win a girl over from one trader. Tough luck there. Why does everybody else get fun missions? The colonel does criticize you and all, but he gives you all the best action. Is this his way of showing affection or trying to get you killed? But I have to say it's unfair. I've been dragged out of Moscow and for what? Stalking the furnace and sitting in a bog with the dumb spyglass. Here though we do have a chance of finding some loot. There is this plane there. Just leave something for me. I'll have to stay longer I suspect. The shrimps are giving me trouble though. I wish I could somehow talk to that catfish into chomping all those water bugs. How did Mowgli talk to the animals, I wonder? Speaking of Mowgli, we have the same blood type, you and I, haven't you noticed? <laughs> well, I guess you have to go now, Artyom. I feel your father-in-law training his binoculars on us to turn us into pillars of salt. <laughs> You're alive! <laughs> Impressive after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. They are so nice. 
Both Katya and her daughter. And Katya's medical training will come in handy. Thank you for the information, Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artyom, a moment. Thank you, Artyom. If not for you, we'd never have escaped that place. They were so busy looking for you. And then Anna picked us up. Yes, Uncle Artyom. Thank you. And your wife is great. She's kind and really strong. Thank you, Auntie Anna. There you go, Artyom. As I always said, you lucked out with me. We all locked out with Anna. She's a total dead-eye. Now I only wish your mom could come with us too. With a real medic, we'd become unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> Katya, Nastya, come have some tea. Don't be shy. Thank you. So, Artyom, stop by my desk once you're done Where are you the old man. from? I've got something for you. The Southern Ural. A couple of years ago, we heard there was this great place on the Volga, so we made the journey. Who can have known that fanatics were in control now? And they say this place used to be great. Did you come with your husband? There were 15 of us, but now only Nastya and I are alive. I, I'm sorry. Hey, why are you so gloomy? Don't you like the tea? I do. Oh, when the gargoyle attacked, Nastya lost her teddy. The beast carried it away. Uh, must have thought it was alive. Oh, don't you worry. We'll find your teddy. Huh, we call them demons in Moscow. And you call them gargoyles. Yes, where did those things crawl out from, I wonder? Well, there's radiation, chemical weapons, and stuff. Nature just went strange. Yeah, the planet's been trashed. No wonder Silantius had such a hold over everyone here, with people seeing things like that every day. Poor fools. They live in darkness and die just like that, reading with disease. I'm a trained nurse, but Silantius wouldn't even hear of me treating anyone. He said God claims his own. He only cares about feeding their bodies to that fish once they die. He says it's their sure way into heaven. I tried doing something to help them, but no, it's a sin. And then he just locked us up in that tower. And somehow a stupid flashlight made it worse. Uncle Crest gave me the flashlight, but Salantius got mad and smashed it. He did, and then he cursed Crest. So the man had to hide in the port. It's a basement layer, so Silentius can get him there. He also wanted to make mommy marry him, but she didn't want to. He's old and nasty. Ah. Yes, the gospel of the damn fish says nothing about marriage. I was lucky to protect my daughter. That crazy creep, he's just so... Will you take us away from here, please? Of course we will. Don't you worry. Great job saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we are to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yermak can't handle the repairs alone. So once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. And then get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. 
Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now. But still, so many questions. There might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. They probably get us in the key regions only. In any case, we'll learn everything once we reach Yamantau. From the top source. The Moscow government is essentially a local council, to put things in perspective. So, now we just need to figure out how to cross this goddamn bridge. Are you still here, Artyom? You really should move out to port soon. Damn. What do I even do about this? I could replace the cylinder, but there's just no spare. I've got to fix this one, and I don't even know where to start. It uh, usually takes a whole workshop to fix things like that. So you're going to the port to look for that mechanic? Uh, please, do your best. Otherwise, we might as well get used to this place. Hi, Artyom. Hello again, Artyom. You did great out there. Or so everyone says. <laughs> in the meantime, we have dug in here. We've been waiting for the occupying forces. But so far, we have only seen winged and four-legged ones. <laughs> Our ecology seems to sit badly with them. <laughs> Some bandit-looking characters in the distance, too. So, Artyom, are you going to the port? There's nobody there. At least, I haven't seen any normal people. But there sure are mutants, so you'd better take care. Take care? Artyom? The Scourge of the Dark Ones? <laughs> Go get them all, Artyom. They'd better hope they can run fast enough. By the way, Alyosha, my friend, that Katya lady Anna brought in? She's a nurse, so maybe you should have her look at your wound, huh? It'd make a great opener for getting acquainted, you know? <laughs> no dice. Stepan's all over her with his rugged charm. I haven't got a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Artyom, are you going to the port? I am going to relieve Alyosha now, so I can't come with you. His hand is still giving him trouble. So Katya being a nurse is just perfect. It will make convincing Dad to take them along so much easier. I'm going to talk to him about that later. Besides, he doesn't really want to leave them here himself. I can see that. But he's so hung up on those occupying forces, he can't even think of anything else. All right, you go run that errand for my father now. Just be careful out there. You know I worry about you. How do you like the backpack? Is it comfortable? Can you operate stealthily with it? I have a present for you here. A Tihar rifle. Ring any bells? It's pneumatic, but it still pecks a wallop. Plus, making bullets for it is easy as pie, even in the field. Just remember to keep that pressure up. Otherwise, you might as well be spitting him out yourself. Other than that, it will never fail you. I did my best. So, bear it with honor. <laughs>
And don't forget to drop by from time to time. I have a few ideas for improving it. Artyom, uh, I took some measurements. There is one hell of a radioactive hotspot between this place and the port. The readings are off the scale. So you better take a boat. We found one and docked it under the bridge. Well, unless you're afraid of the monster. Duke told us over the radio. <laughs> Artyom? Afraid? Bullshit! Besides, the monster is just a catfish. After the nuking, the fallout got washed off into the rivers and settled down as sediment. Catfish are bottom dwellers, so they got hit worst. Well, this one wasn't so bad, by the way. I was careful and never got attacked. I, I don't think it will attack if you keep quiet. It's no alligator, after all. By the way, did you see any of those? Uh, back in the States, I mean. It's not like they were all over the place there, like bears in Russia. You know? Though, I've been to Florida once and visited an alligator farm there. Haven't seen one since I joined the Marines, though. Middle East, Moscow, the Embassy, you know. I heard Miller saved you from a lynching. When shit hit the fan? Yep. I'd rather not talk about it, though. <laughs>